the media bay is an area in Cubase that helps to find, identify, tag, and organize your sounds, VST3 presets and track presets, audio MIDI loops, video, and project files. There are three menu options in the media menu that allow you to call up the three media bay views. It really doesn't matter which one you pick, as they all provide the same functionality. The reason you would pick one from the other is that they have various buttons and features turned on or off so that you can easily find what you're looking for. Load the project, Media Management. We are going to use the Media Bay view, as this view has been pre-configured to allow all of the default controls to be visible. At the bottom left-hand side of the Media Bay window, there are three buttons allowing you to show or hide the different Media Bay sections. Hide the Browser Scope and Tag Editor sections. We are left with the Viewer Display and the Filter section. These two sections allow us to view and find files. Show the Browser section. This is where you can specify locations on your computer so that the Media Bay can find all of your media files. Show the Scope section. The Scope section allows you to view and playback files selected in the Viewer section. Now show the Tag Editor section. When a file is selected in the Viewer section, you can view and or assign tags to the file to make organizing and searching for the file easier. When you open the Media Bay for the first time, a scan for the media files needs to be performed. Specify which folders or directories should be included in the scan by activating their checkboxes to the left of their name. There are two different locations that you can scan for media files on your computer, the file system location and the sound frame location. The file system locations are the physical or actual locations on your computer. By default, only the factory content is scanned. To add your own loops to the media bay, check any folders containing loops in the file system tree. The sound frame locations are the virtual locations on your computer to any factory content or user presets created for plugins, instruments, or MIDI loops. Generally, you want to make sure that sound frame is always checked. This is also the location of any user presets that were created. Before we begin the scan of all our media on the computer, make sure the Deep Results button is activated. Activating Deep Results will show any files inside the currently selected folder, as well as any subfolder in a flat view, as if they were in the same folder. Right-click on Media and select Refresh from the Context menu to begin scanning. When the Media Bay is scanning for media on your computer, a visual indicator in the upper right-hand corner of the Viewer section will be displayed. The scanning status for the individual folders in the Browser section is indicated by the color of the icons. A red icon means that this folder is currently being scanned. A light blue icon means this folder has been scanned. Orange folder icons are displayed when a scanning process was interrupted. Yellow icons are displayed for folders that have not been scanned. Now that we have selected the folders on our computer and scanned for media, we can now search for an audio file and drop it into our project. Choose a main category from the filter section, like drum and percussion. Choose a subcategory if appropriate, like beats. This allows us to narrow down our search even more. There is a list of drum loops that are now available to us in the viewer display with our filter criteria. We can simply drag and drop any of these audio files into our project. Alternatively, we could use the text search field and search for a media file by name. We have narrowed down our search to just drum beats. And now we want to audition our results before we drop it into our project. Show the scope section and select an audio file from the viewer display. You will see the scope display the audio file as a waveform. You can start, stop, pause, and cycle the audio file to hear what it sounds like. You can also set the preview level. It's a good idea to hear our project playing while we audition our loop. Activate Play in Project Context. The loop will now play along with our project in the project tempo. Activate Autoplay. With Autoplay activated, we can click on many different audio files in the viewer display and audition them quickly. Press Start on the transport panel. The project will begin to play, and the audio files you have selected in the viewer display will play along in time with the project. Click on different audio files to find the one that works best with the project. When you have selected the file you wish to use, drag and drop it right into the project. You don't even have to press Stop. The project will continue to play, and the Media Bay will stop auditioning the file automatically. You are able to add musical tags to your media files so that you are able to quickly organize and find your media files for later use. Show the Tag Editor section and select one 
or multiple files in the viewer section. Tagging also helps you to group large amounts of media into a more usable and searchable format. You can apply tags by clicking, or double-clicking for character, in the field next to the attribute name. The next time you search for media using the search filters, category, subcategory, style, etc., you'll see the media you have tagged appear in the viewer section along with the other similar tagged media. For even greater search capabilities and organization, you can open the Manage Tags window and define even more tags for your media files. The Media Bay. Powerful, fast, and flexible.